cease and desist and phone message. Two emails by Neil Bauman with a dramatic interpretation by Who Mada. The 10th of January, 2006. <clears throat> to whom it may concern, please be advised that several of your forum soldiers have decided to personally visit our corporate offices. The pictures they took while trespassing on our property were proudly posted on your site. In addition, some of the postings on your forum literally threatened murdering Eric Bauman. You have now officially crossed the line. You can consider this formal notification that we have initiated a criminal complaint with several agencies, including the FBI Cyber Terrorism Unit. I realize that most of your entire website is comprised of pathetic, pimply-faced, maladjusted preteens whose parents don't love them, and their best Saturday night date takes double-A batteries. Be that as it may, you have now become a criminal threat. There are a lot of people monitoring your site. I strongly suggest that there are no more unauthorized visits to our office. There will be severe penalties for failure to heed this warning. The forum badge on your site means nothing to us, or anyone in the world for that matter. But your threats of bodily harm and property damage cannot be ignored. I was afraid that the FBI and police departments would not be responsive. I was pleasantly surprised to find the contrary. Interestingly, no individual or corporate entity has approached us with any question or problem regarding the content in question. This is true lunacy! There is this big dispute over a piece of content which we received a signed release for! Do you have any idea how foolish and immature you look through this? Of course I'm referring to the real three-dimensional world where real people live and work. You and your forum obviously live in very dark places where they don't teach spelling, grammar, or logic, or reasoning, etc. Well, that being said, we don't care how you advertise your stupidity. But e World Incorporated lives in the real world, and we are very tolerant and sensitive to the underprivileged and the mentally challenged. We will, however, use any and all legal remedies to ensure our safety. The police and FBI are taking this very seriously. I will leave you with this challenge. If any member of your forum or anyone anywhere wants to challenge our policy, simply come out from under your rock and call me on the phone or schedule an appointment. I would be happy to discuss any problem with any credible individual. Of course, I am assuming that these kids are capable of meaningful dialogue. We have received hundreds of calls, but alas, zero meaningful dialogue, only weak pranks. Judging from the posts I have read on your site, I am confident that no one possesses the aforementioned skills necessary to pull that off. The first guy you sent in here probably soiled his pants when he couldn't answer the simplest question and literally ran out the door. Lol. I don't think he is a candidate for Mission Impossible. The police have already contacted him, and our lawyers will have fun with Ben and his parents. The invitation stands. By the way, the FBI told me that the operators and facilitators of your site are more liable than they think. They also assured me that nobody from your site would come out from under their rock to talk. They likened your forum to terrorists who always stay underground. Is that the way you envisioned your forum at its inception? How pathetic. I look forward to your reply. Neil J. Bauman, Executive Vice President, Ebaum's World Incorporated. Dear Max, my assistant informed me that you called our corporate office to verify the correspondence titled Cease and Desist was in fact sent by me. It was. I would like to have any kind of meaningful communication with you or anyone representing your site. As stated in my earlier note, we have never been formally contacted by anyone regarding the question content. I am easily accessible during normal business hours. Feel free to contact me if you are capable of exhibiting a nominal use of some professionalism. I have had a great deal of contact from several of your loyal followers. That contact was far from meaningful. Oh, professional. In a short time, you will be held accountable for the deeds and threats that were aimed at our site and our people. 
Obviously, you have lost possession of your Yiddish cup. We are not about to be physically threatened by you or anyone else. If you thought this was a joke, you are very misguided. I am not one to be trifled with. How dare you and your brethren make death threats against our personnel? There is no veiled threat here, just your wake-up call. You have the ability to stop this early in the game and choose not to. That strategy will prove to be a serious mistake in judgment on your part. Soon you will be contacted by federal investigators. Have a great day! Neil J. Bowman, Executive Vice President, E-Bombs World Incorporated. <laughs>